Most of the Northeast is under a state of emergency right now. A winter storm is expected to drop two feet of snow in the next few days. You can't underestimate this storm. This is not a typical storm. It's going to pack a real punch. A travel ban begins at 9 o'clock tonight in New York City, 8 o'clock in New Jersey. Officials are urging people to get home before they limit subway service and close the roads. The storm could break New York's snowfall record of 26.9 inches. Officials are also anticipating widespread power outages. As a result, all flights to and from the Northeast are canceled and the effects are being felt right here in the mid-state. News Channel 5's Andrea Klein-Thomas joins us live from Nashville's International Airport with more on how the passengers are affected. Andrea? Oh, Vicki, if you have plans to go to the Northeast, just go on and sit tight. You certainly aren't getting out there today and plans for tomorrow, well, those are up in the air. Flying out of Nashville's International Airport is a breeze today because so many passengers didn't even show up. They called and gave us a courtesy and said everything's fine. So Flights to northeastern cities like Philadelphia, Boston, and even Baltimore were canceled hours before they were scheduled to take off. You know that movie where the guy has to live in the airport? I kept thinking about that. Tom, I think it was Tom Hanks. I kept, I kept thinking that's going to happen to us. This family got one of the last flights out of Nashville to New York City earlier this afternoon. The biggest on record, so yeah, we're concerned. They're decked out in their warmest clothes, not for a blizzard. Everybody's been teasing, saying, why are you going to go to Iceland in the winter? And the fact that we're leaving a blizzard to go to Iceland, I think, yeah. is actually making the trip. That's a so surreal, isn't it's, it? it's very, very surreal. Mm -hmm. That's right. They're catching another flight in New York headed to Iceland. So, yeah, we're concerned. Um, I, I, I'm still hoping that the flight schedule is on our side, and if uh, if not, we're gonna have a good time in New York, <laughs> snow and all. <laughs> Just downstairs, they got on the like the last flight out. Everything else was canceled. These passengers avoided what could be the worst ever snowstorm in New York City. I'm coming from Boston, where it wasn't supposed to be as bad, but and then in New York, people were like everybody everywhere I went, they were like, "Are you gonna get out? Are you gonna get out?" Madison Jones may be one of the luckiest passengers of the day by dodging not one, but two cities bracing for the blizzard. I just moved back here, so I'm really glad I made it because then I would be stuck there for like a long time without all my things because they're already here. But Madison's relief is not shared by Iris. I was not happy. Why not? <laughs> I didn't want to come back home. Let's face it. After living in this area, more than two feet of snow. She wanted to stay with the snow. Sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe next time. <laughs> Here are some of the bad news. Airlines are starting to cancel flights for tomorrow. The good news, though, is that they're allowing passengers to be proactive and reschedule themselves on different flights just in case you're worried that your flight will get canceled or delayed. And you can do that without incurring any additional costs. The best thing to do in these situations is always to check your airline's website or go ahead and give them a call. That's the latest here at Nashville's International Airport. I'm Andrea Klein-Thomas, News Channel 5 HD.